Hey, what's up, TJ? Hello. Oh, wait, can I do a filter on this? Can I, like, pretend to be attractive for, like, five? That would be great. Um, hi, how are you? How's life? Uh, it's happening. <laughs> oh, my God, that's uh, awful. You <laughs> You're supposed to be, like, it's good, dude. Well, I mean, I guess, like, don't, don't lie, right? Like, well, yeah, it'd be like that. Uh, yeah, that's just been tough. I mean, uh, my my days are really blending into each other. Like especially since I started a new job, um, I'm on the road. Well, I'm away from the house at twelve hours a day because mm -hmm. I drive to Alpine and back the commute for the. I honestly work. could never imagine doing that. Like I have to drive like what, like four hours a month, and oh. um, <laughs> I hate that. Like once a month, I have to drive for four hours, and I like cry about it. So every day driving to Alpine, no, fuck that, fuck yeah. all that noise. <laughs> I don't have time for that. Um. Well, congratulations on your new job. I like. I know I told you already, you. but like now I'm. I guess I'm telling you in person, like as in person as it can get. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I feel that no, for real. Like yesterday, I thought it was Thursday. Like really, and then yeah. today I was like, it's Friday. And I'm like, no, it's not. Like, what is what's happening there? I don't know. Exactly that. Yeah. Um. Same thing with MP because I. My days off are Wednesdays and Thursdays, so yeah, my schedule's all screwed up. <laughs> yeah, dude, because then your Wednesday and Thursday is like your Friday, but everybody yeah, else exactly. is on Wednesday and Thursday, and they're like, I can't do Friday things with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it is, it, it's been a little weird just past. You know what that I, is, though, is that like, I hate to be all like, <laughs> woo-woo or whatever, you know, you know me, but um. It, it is that like mercury and retrograde thing like it really is because it just messes oh. with like the way that we communicate with ourselves and each other and so like when you wake up and there's signals in your world that tells you it's tuesday right like yesterday so that's what happened to me yesterday is i went outside and everybody on my blog had their trash cans out and that only happens on thursday and so i was like oh it's thursday and then i asked like my mom or whatever and she's like no it's it's wednesday today and so the communication <laughs> of the universe or like my block i guess which is on thursdays there's trash out like that was communicated on the wrong day and i was just like yeah. what are you guys doing it's wednesday like why are you putting yeah. the trash out all early it's because nobody knew what day it was i guess yeah and you know what uh this is the first time i've done instagram live that started on time <laughs> wow i'm yeah. paranoid uh, about that kind of stuff like i'm yeah, always on uh, time sort of well last week uh unfortunately guillermo had a family thing so uh so yeah, he never showed up, and oh, you can't help because, that, you know. Yeah. You can't control things like that, and you know, family, family, is family is family. <laughs> yeah, of course. It'd be like yeah. That. Hopefully, again, hopefully I can reschedule him. And uh, and the time before that, the guy he didn't know how to use Instagram Live, and <laughs> okay, here's <laughs> we were... my thing that I don't understand. Right, is like when people are like, "Oh, I don't know how to use it." I'm like, "We've been here long enough." Like, learn. Yeah. Like, I don't know how you wouldn't just like figure it out on accident. Like, I even have sometimes like uh, this is just me talking shit, but like I have clients sometimes, and they're like 20 minutes late to a like to a appointment, and I don't take those that late, and they're like, "Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know how to use Zoom," and I'm like, "We've been here, bro. Like, we've been in this like fucking Zoom world for a while. You gotta figure that shit out. That yeah. is not on me." Um, but yeah, no, I mean, like you just some people they really can't figure things out. You can't help it. It be like. Yeah. Yeah, it's life. Yeah, well, yeah, and what's funny is that the guy that I interviewed, he's our, my sponsor, Norm Thatcher from uh, TNT Anger mm -hmm. Management. He does anger management through Zoom, and <laughs> so yeah. how can you not figure out Instagram? And the thing is, I told him just just watch my show, yo, know, watch me, and then I said, and I'll invite you. And he kept sending me a message, so I kept having to log out to say, oh "No, gosh. dude, let me invite you." <laughs> <laughs> like it works the other way it's not it's yeah. not how this works oh my gosh yeah it's actually yeah. kind of funny like watching people try and figure it out like my mom she's like a <laughs> she's like a hardcore like boomer you know what i mean and so she's teaching she's a teacher and she's teaching her kids on zoom and it's like fourth graders man and of course like they don't know good like internet etiquette there's like talking to each other and stuff and all day long she's like please mute like so like <laughs> all day i just hear somebody yelling like please mute can you just mute and i feel so bad because i'm like oh god some people were just not built for the technological age <laughs> it wasn't us it's the it, well it's the boomers that aren't built for it but like whatever you know they're figuring it out too you gotta cut the old people some slack and let let the old people just 
old people, you know? <laughs> I hear what's funny is um, at every Zoom, like when you have a meeting, a conference call, when it's more than, let's say, three, or four, three people, mm -hmm. there's always one person who can't seem to not make noise yeah. in their background or hit the mute <laughs> while know. they're not talking. I mean. There's always someone. <laughs> it's always really funny to me, too, because they're like, it'll be someone's like, dogs barking in the background and yeah. they're like oh my god i'm so sorry my dogs are barking and it's like then mute like exactly, why are you exactly. apologizing just stop like just stop it <laughs> just don't do it don't exactly <laughs> oh triple scoop is here hi yeah. i'm just like i just get really excited when i see like people hello i see some of my people too i see like witches coming in here you got a different audience today nice. man thank you yes thank you <laughs> that's so crazy yeah. Jerry Martinez. I saw Gil pop Jerry, in yes. earlier too. Gil was here at the beginning. Uh, the Jose peoples. from Que Pasa Calexico. Yeah, thanks, I love thanks, it. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. I miss doing so, local stuff. Yeah, you know, uh, I see you got a lot of San Diego stuff going on. Um, mostly actually right now, LA, like San Diego, LA. a little bit less. Um, but like LA is kind of where everything's at. And I mean, like LA for my business, it's just where I, I've got most of my friends up there. You know what I mean? So like, I like to hang out with my friends. And so like, I like to hang out in LA, yeah. um, a lot, but yeah, it's the Valley is, it's not the worst for my business, but it's also not the best. You know what I exactly. mean? Right. Yeah. Like it's like, it's like in the middle somewhere. So as much as I love to like do things for the Valley, it's not where I focus my stuff because that's not, <laughs> the Valley doesn't pay my rent. So <laughs> I gotta yeah. go, I gotta go where the money's at, man, for real. Exactly. Hi, Tony. That's my friend. That's my, my bestie, my photographer too. He knows what's up. Like he knows like how hard like shit can be sometimes in the Valley. Like just to like, he's a musician, you know what I mean? And like even podcasts and like things like that. It's like really difficult when you're not doing like a, like a normal job um, in the Valley because everybody's like still very like traditional yeah. down here. And so like when you're trying yeah. to be like a, an artist or a witch, <laughs> it's, it's a little yeah. bit more work, but once you get in, it's okay. It's okay. It's not the worst. Yeah, we. Yeah, it, same with the comedy shows. We, it's hard to get a yeah. successful comedy unless unless you bring in a big name comic. It's very hard to get people to go after. Yeah, well, and that sucks too, right? Because it's like people need that. Like people need to laugh. Like people need to have fun. Yeah. Um, but I think that a lot of people like they're like, oh, you know, it's that whole thing about me, right? Like with my my stuff. Um, a lot of people are like, well why do I need a witch to do this for me when I like, I don't know, sometimes people think they can do shit themselves. And, um, yeah. you know, I'm sure with comedy, people are like, why would I go to a comedy show? I can make myself laugh. And it's like, okay, yeah, yeah. but like, just take the work out of it, man. Like, like <laughs> go do something yeah, like, they're like, why, why do I need a witch? I can just Google my astrology. <laughs> right. Yeah. And I, well, it's really funny, guys. Like, I don't do that kind of stuff because I hate numbers. Astrology no, no, but... <laughs> Astrology is all numbers, man. Like, that shit is hard. People who do astrology, astrology mm. brains, crazy um i'm like you they're on a whole other different level but i just talk to dead i mean i talk to dead people so like that's also <laughs> like a different thing that's like its own shit yeah you know, well we are in the holiday season so yeah it's what definitely. do you think of how, what do you think of halloween as a witch <laughs> Interesting. um i as a human being like a person i love halloween i've always loved halloween like before i was a witch even when i was like a sunday school teacher i was like yeah it's halloween and like you know you got to do like church appropriate costumes or whatever <laughs> um I think that there's a big thing in like the witchy community that now everyone's like, Oh, just because it's Halloween, you think you're a witch. And I'm like, y'all need to stop that shit. Like, don't be bitter out here because now Walmart has like witch shit. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> don't, don't be mad about it. Like, it's a good thing. Yes. It's annoying that like capitalism is like taking something that's like my whole everyday life and like making money off of it. But at the same time, if somebody sees that stuff and is like, you know what, maybe I'm like, maybe I'm a witch. And then they get into their own spirituality and they like, like find their power or whatever like fuck dude if walmart was the way that happened like cool <laughs> that's great like for me like when i figured it out like the very first tarot deck i had came from like an urban outfitters which now like knowing what i know and the way that they treat their workers and like all of that stuff uh, i would not <laughs> buy anything from them but that's how it started and i'm not gonna lie and say that, that didn't happen and like that's not how i figured that out so yeah whatever like i think it's cool um Halloween specifically is like its own holiday in like the witch community. It's like Samhain, which 
Um, it's spelled, people pronounce it wrong. It's like Sam Hain because it's S-A-M-H-A-I-N. Um, and that's part of like the Wiccan calendar, yeah. but like a lot of us celebrate it because it's the, it's like the equinox, I think. Um, but that's like a big ass holiday for us anyway. And so just the fact that there's like candy everywhere and <laughs> people dressed up as witches, like if you have a problem with that, I always tell people like if you're a witch and you're mad about Halloween then you're just mad about something about you because that's not like that is just some other shit like just be cool be nice right like you don't see people you don't see christians getting mad when non-christians celebrate christmas right so like in the witchy community we got to do the same thing you know we got to give what we want to get or mexican celebrating saint patrick's day exactly (laughs) exactly right like it's literally that or like when people celebrate chinese new year it's like okay dude like go do that like i don't care i'm not yeah. pissed about it um yeah yeah i don't get pissed off with cinco de mayo you know? <laughs> well yeah well also cinco de mayo like should only actually be like celebrated in that town and i love <laughs> yeah, exactly yeah. i love when people are like it's mexican independence day and i'm like no it's not nope. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what that is it's not mexican fourth of july like stop that um but yeah i think that that really comes down to like education right like not everybody knows that um people get surprised that i know that but also like i care about that type of shit um but it it really is just like knowing what the fuck you're talking about and like if you don't know what the fuck you're talking about then like that's your fault (laughs) we got the internet dude you can like research (laughs) anything i hate when people are like oh i didn't know i'm like really you you didn't know you have google (laughs) you knew you could have figured it out yeah i mean I, i think every argument now it's always settled by Google. Yeah. Wait, no, it's this guy. No, it was this guy. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Right, and like how reliable is Google? How reliable yeah. is the right. stuff that you find on Google? <laughs> like you could go on like Wikipedia and it'll say that fucking, I don't know, that like I was born in 1990. Eight, or in 1891 and if someone was like yeah that's real tj is like whatever it's like that just because it's on the internet doesn't mean that shit is real um i mean you've got all these cases too of like right now we're seeing that photo of i think it's like ice cube and oh yeah that like with the trump hats and like that's like a yeah, photoshopped yeah. picture from like <laughs> some other time or whatever it's like dude you can't even trust the internet anymore and that i mean I don't really think you could ever trust the internet, but <laughs> there used to be a time where you could trust it a little bit more because not everybody had those like skills. And I, I hate Googling. Not, I, I do it a lot, but I hate it because like you'll, I'll Google uh, best pesticide and then I'm bombarded by pesticide ads for yes. like a month. Oh my God, no, I know. I, I already got the pesticide, dude. It's the worst. Yeah, I was like, I had a client and they were going to get married Um, and she was like, we're just talking about it, whatever. And then I told her, I was like, oh, I know this website that makes really nice engagement rings. And, cause, and they were like witchy. And so they wanted something like weird. You know what I mean? Like they didn't want to just yeah. like go to Zales and get like a diamond. Um, yeah. And so I looked up a site and I sent it to her. And then for the next like three months, I got engagement <laughs> ring ads. And I'm sitting here with like my boyfriend. Like I'm not trying to like hit anything, man. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's not what that is. Um, I do love those memes though, where it's like the, it's like the tiktoks for the girls when the boyfriend like walks away and then the girl grabs the phone and she like says to it like so that it'll get the ad and it's like therapy 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 <laughs> so that like later the boyfriend gets like therapy ads i think that shit is hilarious yeah, but it's is. also very creepy because it works that's creepy yeah right. <laughs> i don't like that my fbi agent probably thinks i'm an insane person because he's like what are you doing <laughs> like what's wrong with you <laughs> That's fine. So, I know that you you've been posting a lot about being a successful business person. Well, uh, I don't well, always well, post about it. Well, <laughs> only on Twitter. Often. <laughs> okay. So, uh, what what advice do you have for someone in the valley that might be trying to do their own business? Oh, fuck, yeah. man, do whatever the fuck you want to do. Like straight up. Like that's what I always tell people because when people want to start businesses, they always focus on like, oh, well, I don't want to start this business because there's nothing else like it, especially in the valley, right? Like for me, I was like, there isn't any witches. Like, why would I start reading cards? Like, why would I start doing this? When really, at the end of the day, the reason why you need to do it is because nobody else does it. Like that area, like our area especially, we need 
I would say young business owners, a hundred percent. Um, because like you look at like the people who run businesses now, those are the type of people that elect who are in like the chamber of commerce and who are in like government and stuff. And so I personally feel like we need more young people because we know what's happening. And so we need to like keep shit up to date. And so if there's not a lot of people who are, you know, in charge of those things that are younger or that are more socially aware, um, then, you know, we run into the Valley problem, which is the fact that we're about 10 years behind the rest of the world, really. Yeah. <laughs> which sucks, right? Like, even music, too. Like, my friends will show me music, and I'm like, oh, well, this is a cool song. And then I don't hear it down here for another year and a half. And I'm like, oh, no, wow, yeah. this, is, this took yeah. a while. Um, yeah. So the advice really is, yeah, do what you want and do it right. Um, I always tell people, you know, like, don't rush shit. Like, my new business that we opened, we took six months to develop that. Like, we didn't do that in two weeks and then throw it up on the internet. Like, it took us a really long time, blood, sweat, tears, um, a lot of margaritas <laughs> and like a lot of, a lot of stress and that, but that's why it's doing so well is because we did a lot of front end work, or, yeah, back end work basically. So it could run itself. And, and once we started, you know, that shit could just handle itself. Um, but yeah, it's do whatever you want, no matter what, because especially in the Valley, right? Like people don't know everything, especially here and they don't know what they need even like, you know, when we got Korean barbecue, right? Like, we just got yeah. Korean barbecue, well, like, last year, I think, yeah. or something like that, which is yeah, yeah, yeah. a travesty. It hurts yeah. my feelings. I'm like, damn, it took us, like, so long <laughs> to get Korean barbecue. Um, but then when we, got, when we opened Korean barbecue, it was, it was packed all the time. There was always hella people there, like, when it was open, obviously, because, like, COVID, like, you can't go now. Um, and a lot of people didn't even know how to do Korean barbecue. But once they went and figured it out, they were like all about it. Everybody I knew was like, Oh, I love, you know, Korean barbecue, even if it like, even if it was, it was not the best Korean barbecue I've yeah, ever yeah. had, um, <laughs> but it was better than nothing, you know? And that's also what yeah. we need to, to realize is like, yeah, you know, someone's going to start a business down here and it might not be like San Diego quality or worthy, but you're not going to get to that level unless you start at the bottom. Like, you know, Drake had it figured out when he's like started from the bottom because like you have to, you can't just come out the gates like a millionaire. Yeah. Like you cannot do that. And it takes a lot of time. So yeah, just dedication to your idea and, you know, dedication to like yourself. And I really think that's all you need. Um, and also maybe like Google just so you don't accidentally, you know, commit tax fraud or something like yeah. that. Uh, but that would be it. Nice. Yeah. yeah that's why you, had. you mentioned like the older uh, business owners and mm -hmm. uh, community, I get the politicians here. I think it's funny because right here in Calexico, uh, the chamber of commerce, the director of the Chamber of Commerce, I remember her being in charge of the Chamber of Commerce when I was a kid in elementary school. Yeah, see, <laughs> and, like, and, and I know that because her son was a friend of mine. So, yeah. And she's still there. That's the thing is, like, I'm sure, right, she loves her job. Like, I'm not going to say anything, like, negative or whatever. But it's almost impossible to have somebody in a job that long and have them update the way that the world is. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like you've got to have people that are oh, yeah. in the middle of the struggle or in the middle Trust of me, look, the problem. Look, look at their website. Their website is just, is it bad? <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's just one, one picture. Oh, of no. it's, like, it's just the name, the chamber of commerce, phone number and address. That's it. No, no link. Dude, to click, to get information. That is for real. My pet peeve is especially <laughs> When, like, there's a business, I guess the Chamber of Commerce, right? It's not a business, but it represents, like, a, a group of people. It represents, like, a city, uh, whatever, community. I honestly, when people don't put work into their websites, that tells me that they're not putting work into the people that they're serving. Like, you don't yeah. even care about, if we go to the website, how much information we can easily find or whatever, like, the information that you give us. So why would I trust you? person to person like if, if you can't even do the bare minimum which is you do a website <laughs> once and then it and then you don't have to touch it ever again like unless you know they move addresses or something like that but like come on man get it together yeah. <laughs> together yeah yeah the the lamest website i've ever seen and, and i just happened <laughs> to, to look at it uh this past week because i was writing a paper and part of it was uh uh, how do you, it was about business, it was business, and it was asking me to come up with, 
organizations or mm-hmm. agencies that can help. So I obviously, the first thing that popped in my mind was Chamber of Commerce. I put collecting called Chamber of Commerce. I go, oh my God, what the hell is this? Like, there's no link, no clickable link at all in that, on that page. It's just ridiculous. Well, that's the other and basically thing. Just a, uh, the other a thing business card. <laughs> basically just a business card. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that's the thing too, is like, if your website looks gross, <laughs> if it looks bad, yeah. um, like no one's going to want to say, Hey, go visit this website or whatever. So like you as a person, if you were talking to somebody about the chamber of commerce and they were like, Oh, what's their website? Probably you as a person would go, don't go to it. Don't, it, it's not, yeah. not going to help you out. <laughs> and that doesn't help anybody like in a business standpoint, that doesn't help the chamber get more businesses to want to work with them. That doesn't help the city look good. It basically just makes people look lazy and out of touch. Yeah. I feel like I'm being mean today. Damn. (laughs) I'm going to get like a letter from the chamber of commerce and they're going to be like, you cannot operate in Calexico. Yeah. That's what I was thinking right now too. They're going to say, yeah, no no more shows for you. (laughs) You, you don't get any, you don't get to make anybody laugh. (laughs) <laughs> no laughs no humor no fun so uh for the we have six people still watching for those six people that are still watching where are the what are your links and uh numbers or places to get hold of you oh well most of these people probably already know what's up um but i am the half ass witch you can go to the half ass com. you can see what i do you can follow me on twitter i wouldn't recommend it because my twitter's fucking wild um and I talk shit on Twitter. Like, you know, my that's my thing, too, is, like, I actually recently just had somebody get mad at me because they were, like, you should be nicer on Twitter or whatever. And I was, like, have you been on Twitter? Twitter is the wild <laughs> west. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. not Instagram. It's not picture perfect. It's not beautiful and filtered and edited. It's, it's Twitter. It's I'm going to pop off whatever thought is in my stupid little brain. Yeah. Um, well, I'm not stupid. But you know what I mean? Like, whatever dumb thought, I'm just like, that just came. Yeah. And I'm gonna tweet that shit. Um, so yeah, you can follow me on Twitter. But like, generally, I just send people to my Instagram, which you can click up there. Um, and that's where I do most of my stuff. Anyway, that's where you can find like updates and new shit that I'm doing. God, whatever I'm selling at the moment, which is always something. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's like pretty easy to get a hold of me. But actually also very hard because like, you can find me but getting me to answer is also like something else. <laughs> like that's, yeah, I, I, I found that out. <laughs> I'm very bad at like, responding to, especially DMS because you know how like on Instagram, right? Like DMS can get lost. So like yeah. when you sent me a DM, I had like business stuff going on. So like I had other people messaging me uh, and then it like just flew down there. And then finally, <laughs> when I went to go answer you back, I literally was here for like ever. And I was like, trying to locate it and like finally found our message but yeah it's very hard to get a hold of me but um i'd be like that you know what when you're in demand that's good that's a good thing you're busy yeah i'd rather be busy than like crying (laughs) well i (laughs) even when i'm busy i'm crying but i'd rather be busy and crying because i'm busy than crying because i'm not busy so has your what you've been doing the the readings uh, all these things that you do uh, do you still do live ones, like in person? I mean, now um, that COVID. Well, now that COVID is over, or is not over. Now that COVID is doing its thing, Miss COVID has come in to ruin everybody's lives. Um, no, I don't do in person readings. Also, like as a human being, because my like even as a business, right? Like a lot of my market is in LA, San Diego. I've got a lot of clients that are international too. I've got like some of my clients are in like New Zealand. I've got clients in London. It's like everywhere. So I can't meet everybody in person. It's just easier for me to do zoom everything. Um, plus I feel like in person, I feel like it's so like on the spot, right? Like the work that I do, dude, like I I have to close my eyes every once in a while because I see like things that dead people are showing me. So like, I don't want to be sitting in front of someone and be like, hold on, let me close my eyes. And then they're just like staring at me. (laughs) I'm like, don't do that. It's like when somebody is like, you know, when you have to go to the bathroom, you're like, don't watch me pee, like turn around. (laughs) It's like that. And then I also saw you have something going on tonight on Instagram, right? Yeah. So you know how I I used to do like my Instagram lives where I would do like Tarot Tuesday or whatever. So today, I don't know, man, I I have makeup on. We're here. I was like, I might as well just get back on live later. I haven't done one in a really, really long time because I was working my ass off and to the point where I was like, my mental health was not good because I was just working and working and working and working. I like ran my body into the ground. 
Um, so now I finally feel like I'm at a place where I have enough free time and I'm like chill enough that I can like do a live again. Um, cause I do miss it. I miss like being able to hang out with my clients and my customers in like a non one-on-one basis. And then when I do like tarot Tuesday and, and well, today's Thursday, but like when I do tarot Thursday, um, I do most of the readings for free or like for small amounts of money so that it's more like people are, it's easier to access me than, you know, booking a reading that's two hundred dollars or whatever. That's awesome. So the, tonight at seven, six, six o'clock, six um, p.m. PST. So yeah, if you guys want to roll through, come hang out. It's fun. It's a lot of shit time. Like I, I end up yelling at people. We, I do that thing where it's <laughs> the the call me on my bullshit readings, which is basically just being like, hey, this is your bullshit. Fucking stop it. Stop that bullshit. <laughs> um. And it's usually like, I'm not being mean to people or anything, but it is just a little bit more sassy and it is just a little bit more like, I'm going to call you out because you know what you're doing and you need to admit that you're doing what you're doing because I know. And if I, a stranger can tell over the internet, what's up, it's probably pretty bad. Um, so yeah, no, that's, that's what I'm doing today. And I'm really, I'm actually really excited. Like I haven't done it in a while, so it's going to be fun. I'll try to stop by. Yeah, come hang out. I'll read, I'll give you a card or two. We'll see. (laughs) Sounds good. Oh, TJ, it was good having you back. Thanks. To you again. No, this was so fun. Yeah. I know I was telling um, one of my friends that, like, it's been a really long time since I've done something like this, number one. And number two, like, I like to work with people that I know and that I like. Um, and, like, I like you. <laughs> like, I like you guys. Like, you guys are cool. Um, and I haven't, you know, I haven't been on, like, a thing in a while. And I really, I enjoy it. It's fun. And I like to do local shit. Like, I mean, I wish more people locally got what I did and, like, you know, cared, I guess. Um, that's been, like, a little thing for me. It's just, like, I wish I wish the Valley was a little bit more open to what I did. But um, the people that are, you guys are so solid. So I'm happy either way. Yeah, I wish I had – I haven't really done enough. Even during the the downtime I had with COVID, I didn't really – I like, mental health-wise, again, I wasn't there either. Yeah. <laughs> so I, uh, I didn't – haven't been really – I'm hoping to do more of these live ones. Um, but yeah, right, right before, uh, actually that the very last open mic I had here in Calexico, I ran into this girl, like, I don't remember her name by now. This was back in February at the end of February. And, uh, I don't remember how it came up, but it came up that she like in her cards read and stuff. And I, I referred her to you. I don't know if she ever got Aww, in touch with you. But told, tell her terror cast at you. <laughs> That's so nice. I don't remember because I don't, I'm not, I don't even remember what I had for breakfast. I'm going to be honest. Like my, you know how you said your days are running together. Yes, my, yes. my year has run together. It's just all in one. So I don't, I probably don't remember, but um, I, I do appreciate that. I think that's cool. You know, it's the fucking, it's that loyalty, man. Like it'd be like that. Like it means a lot. It's, it's important. Well, thanks, TJ. Oh, and hopefully no, I'll no. see you at six. Right, yes, take care. yeah. Come hang out, and I will see you later. All right, thanks. Bye. Take care. Bye.